Drama! Today is drama alert. I'm sorry, it's six o'clock in the morning, mate. Right? I've just uh, got up because I'm going for a run in a minute. But before I do that, I've been wanting to talk about some story that's been uh, tickling my fancy. I'm sure many of you have heard about uh, Joe Rogan before. Surely. You know what he is, you know where he comes from. He's the Fear Factor host who turned UFC commentator and then turned into literally the biggest podcast in the entire world. Well, a couple of you might not know unless you follow him, but what you might not know is he did a Spotify deal for the massive tune of 100 million, bro. And what this basically means is Spotify now has exclusive rights to stream the biggest podcast in the entire world on their what do you, what do you call Spotify? Streaming platform. It's too early. Fine, whatever. Takes a bit of a draw away from YouTube music. Makes your company stronger, fantastic. Problem is though, although Joe Rogan is easily the biggest podcast in the world, there's a reason for that. Joe Rogan is batshit crazy. He has been for the better part of a decade. You see, once you hit a certain level of wealth, uh, common sense and being a normal human being goes completely out the window. And thus, uh, Rogan became a bit of a conspiracy theorist and is incredibly hesitant towards the COVID vaccine's effectiveness, if that's what you can even call it, man. To put it bluntly, he's purposely misspreading uh, information about the vaccine's effects and what it can do for you. He is convinced that the vaccine is harmful towards uh, people. And this belief only got stronger after he got the virus himself a few months back. Bro, I've had COVID twice now. I work within the healthcare industry, so it's incredibly common. Disease, I mean, I don't have to say, it obviously ravages elderly and poorly people. I'm neither one of them. I'm an incredibly fit and sexy man with big muscles massive willy both times i got it i was okay it sucked it was incredibly painful i mean my last bout was like two weeks ago i got it and i still feel it in the throat a little bit but i could easily see that disease killing a lot of people just because of how vicious and painful it is and it felt it man i couldn't breathe i kept throwing up all that the point i was trying to get to he got the virus not too long ago but what the barbarian out of time seems to forget is not everybody's incredibly rich and rogan literally afforded the best health treatment possible dude he literally got one of those like blood bank boys from silicon valley except for minerals and then he was talking <laughs> he was talking about how it's not that bad Meanwhile, he was gray and literally like he was on the verge of death. Even after contracting the virus, he still goes on his podcast and rants and raves against how the vaccine shouldn't be allowed and all this crap. It's, it's a load of rubbish. And that's why one man, one absolute alpha, stood up to this monkey man of flesh meat and said, no, no more. I don't care how much money you net Spotify and I don't care what you do or who you are. I will stop you like the Batman of streaming services. Neil mother fucking young. Who's that? I'm sure some of you will get quite annoyed with the fact that I'm saying who the hell is Neil Young. But I'm just going to keep it um, real with you. In the comparison of fame between Neil Young and Joe Rogan, you are like, uh, Neil, you are Tom Brady and... Um, Rogan's messy. Like, you guys aren't even on the same stratosphere, my man. There's no disrespect, no disrespect. I'm sure you make adequate music. Let me see. I bet you I can find a single song of his I like. I don't know a single one of these songs. For a minute there, I really thought Neil Young was I Hurt Myself Again guy, but I realized that was Johnny Cash. So this drama between the Rogan and Neil Young is... Even more baffling. What drama am I referring to? What was the action that Mr. Young took against uh, Rogan? Took a stand. He pulled all of his music off Spotify. And I'm sure once the people at Spotify heard this news that Neil Young is taking his music off his platform, oh, they'd probably shit their britches. We, we need to act now. We can't, we, we can't lose Neil. It's Neil, for Christ's sakes. With, without uh, uh, Neil Young's 60-year-old audience, what, like... I don't understand how we're gonna bring people onto our platform anymore. Oh no! You're smart enough to read in between the lines. I'm sure you can tell that he took all of his music down to protest against uh, Rogan constantly misspreading vax information. It's great, man. I like. I appreciate that. Did it have to be you though? If someone like Little Nas or uh, Billie Eilish, someone who um, you know, actually is, God, I don't want to sound mean, dude. Well, it's actually 
like famous today wasn't somewhat semi-famous back in their day you know, did that action i'm sure it would get like a lot more ears but bro young's audiences they're all like retirement home people the man's 60 odd most of them don't even know how to work a spotify they're still busy playing his records on the big dang jukebox and do getting jiggy with it so i can't possibly fathom or understand why he thought taking his music down specifically wouldn't that change within Spotify and for them to like smack Joe Rogan in his little weak boy wrist? Wrist? Wrist. Like the dude must have like a complex or something or he must think he's a lot more famous than he really is. I had to Google uh, Neil Young's name again just to remember who the artist was who took all their music down. Because I heard about this story like three days ago. Uh, and I had to Google Joe Rogan Spotify just to find out <laughs> who the other guy was that caused all this crap. But it gets more embarrassing. I'm gonna have to pull out my notes because I also had to write her name down. So out of an uh, act of solidarity, um, another big artist joined uh, Neil Young's protest. To show that she's not taking any of this as well and all of this COVID misinformation needs to be stopped and Spotify should be held accountable for this man's actions. And that person was the mega famous Joni Mitchell. Dude, that's even worse. Who is Joni Mitchell? Joni Mitchell is a Canadian songwriter, okay? Her audience almost certainly doesn't even have cassette tapes. They probably had to get around each other like cavemen to recite her music. But, like, I'm not even gonna bother looking up one of her songs because I can guarantee I have no idea who it is. My point is, I really appreciate the action that these two superstars took. I mean, it really made, um, it really made Rogan notice you. And I understand the point they're trying to get across, but this, this is just like monstrously out of touch to me. I don't think this dynamic duo understand that, um, podcasters are just as big as musicians. Sometimes, in this case, they are even bigger. If they really think that them, these two, specifically taking their music or Spotify is gonna enact change, of them taking down Rogan? The man who was worth a hundred million dollars? You are taking the piss and you are delusional. I can almost guarantee that Mitchell and Young combined don't even make up a fraction, a fraction of the monkey man's audience. I, I just feel bad for them because they don't even understand the power that they're facing. Rogan's audience is made up of crypto bros and alphas, the loudest and most annoying group possible. You guys never stood a chance. I'll look it up again and because uh, maybe this protest like inspired some other artists to join them and made and made Mr. Spotify look himself like right in the mirror and little little tear rolled down and how could he have done this? How could he have hosted this monster for so long? Yo Rogan. Uh news. I'm sure something will pop up. Yeah, there you go, the rocks here. That could be promising for a uh, Neil Young's case, if, if, if the wrong rock gets behind him, you know, everybody loves the rock. Dwayne Johnson divides fans in response to Joe Rogan video amid COVID misinformation drama. No, uh, no hard feelings towards Neil Young and definitely no hard feelings towards Joni Mitchell. I love her too. I love her music. Chucky's in Love is a great song. Uh, I don't know what else I can do uh, differently other than maybe try harder to get people with uh, differing opinions on right afterwards. I do think that that's important and uh, and do my best to make sure that I've researched these topics, the, the controversial ones in particular, and have all the pertinent facts at hand before I discuss them. Again, I'm not trying to promote misinformation. I'm not trying to be controversial. Dwayne Johnson is the, da, 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 oh my God. Dwayne Johnson has divided his fans by publicly supporting Joe Rogan. Young Mitchell, fucking take the elbows! Oh my God! The Samoan prince is against you. It's over. It's done, bro. If The Rock shamed me publicly for jaywalking, I would shit and cry myself to death. The actor 49 replied to the podcaster's video in which he addressed the platform's policy changes and has been introduced to the following criticisms from Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Could not possibly go worse. You have Harry and Markle on your side, dude. Ah At one point, Markle and Harry wanted Fortnite banned because they were thought it was too violent for children. And this is like mega tier boomer shit, dude. This is insane. My head is 
spinning with, oh, so many questions. As far as I can tell, that's the entire story so far. I am dying from secondhand embarrassment. I really, really do wish that this went differently because I know Rogan's just gonna go back to like spreading more crap. He always does. But for now, all I can do is wish for Mitchell and Young for a speedy recovery after being absolutely publicly decimated. I'm running out of time, I'm gonna go meet someone for a run. But please check out my other videos if you're interested. For the love of God, go to wherever Young is at the minute and just hug him and hold him. The man has been decimated. Oh!